It's bad that the Conservative Party have not compensated the Windrush families. The British government have £65 million allocated to the Home Office to reimburse the victims of the Windrush scandal. Most people hit by the bad injustice done by the Conservative Party have not been compensated. The money hasn't been issued to the victims. The Labour Party want to compensate the victims of the Windrush scandal if they are elected in power. Not like the Conservative government who enforced the legislation on immigrants on the Empire Windrush. Even though they gave a formal apology, the Conservative government still haven't had the decency to pay the money to compensate the victims. It's Cardiac Champagne here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Bad, bad mistakes done by the Conservative Government. Today's episode is entitled 2024 Null Election. We look at the opposition parties running for the election. First up is the Windrush debate. There is legal compensation. Anybody who, who's been badly affected by the Conservative government's bad decision in for us on the Windrush British citizens. If Labour win the general election, they plan to compensate all victims of Conservative government's bad legislation. I hope that Labour do win the election and I hope they deliver what they plan in their manifesto. Legal helpline, the number is 0800 678 192 You are entitled to legal compensation All Windrush victims, the families, are entitled to legal compensation The direct line number is 0800 678 1925 the number will run throughout this program. News reported the case of Isilda Williams last week. The Home Office contacted her family to say this case would be treated as a priority. He must supply biometric information such as fingerprints. That should in Jamaica hesitation. And he said, I need to speak to a supervisor. I just said, well, that's silly, because why say to us one day that they will prioritise the case and then the next minute we're still going to have to wait another year to find out whether the appeal gets rejected or not. Her mother's old passport issued in 1962 and stamped British subject. Isilda's family believe the intentions of the Home Office are good, but they're waiting to be convinced the system will work. They were institutionally forgotten by the Home Office. Um, ignorance and thoughtlessness as far as the history of the Windrush generation was concerned. They were here legally, they worked to build our country and they should not have been treated in this way. Oh, Home Office is bad. Black MP need to pressurise the Home Office. It's a bad habit the Home Office have of not processing Windrush application forms. Most Black families even now have not been compensated and the ones I have is a bad insult to injury. I only get £250. The government have raised the minimum compensation level to £10,000. £10, they know you could have lost your home. If you lost your home, £10,000 is a damn insult because that doesn't compensate for the cost of your property. Not to mention, the Conservative government are not going to backdate the pension food to the, the British subjects who came on the Empire Windrush. It's down to the, uh, families to financially support them. There's a lot of black senior citizens who left the country, left Britain, to be reunited with family and loved ones in the West Indies and are denied entry into the UK, which is bad, bad because they're British subjects, not to mention British citizens. They will not do that to a white person. It's only black British subjects the Conservative government exercise their power on. Family member of yours was subjected to the Barbing Rush victimisation by law title to legal compensation. They watch this. The number is 0800 678 one nine two five government phone line 
to compensate the victim. No, you need to ring that number if you want to be compensated. Many of those caught up in this are waiting for compensation. Two years on from the scandal break, most of your viewers will be shocked that only £62,000 has been paid out. No, it's a bad damn disgrace that only £65,000 has been awarded in compensation. The government had allocated £65 million to the Home Office. There's no explanation given where the money had gone. Thousands of Windrush victims, the families, have not been compensated. So where is the rest of the money? £1 million is the equivalent of 1,000,000, 65,000 pounds, well short of a quarter of a million, which is the equivalent of 250,000, is not acceptable. Though that looks bad on the Conservative government, it demands an explanation. No, we need to pressurise the Home Office. Please share this video on Instagram, share it on YouTube, download the video, download this video, show it to friends and family, circulate it on the internet you need to know this the latest figures show only a quarter of people who applied for compensation after the windrush deportation scandal have been paid compensation thousands are still waiting for a decision campaigners claim the delays show the home office is institutionally racist as it wouldn't treat another group of people this way but in an interview with ITV News, the Home Secretary defended her department's handling of the scheme and, when asked, offered no apologies for the wait. The Home Secretary says lessons have been learned. With Those who were wise in the Caribbean before 1973 and who lived here permanently as have the right to learn as do the vast majority of long-term residents who arrived later. Uh, their right to remain here in the United Kingdom. It's a bad case of racial injustice and it's a blatant act of direct racism, no different than Nazi Germany, exercise on black citizens in the in the UK. Another important issue that can hold or badly delay Windrush applicants' compensation is the lack of evidence. The British public are aware that a lot of legal documents proved that there were black subjects have been destroyed by the government. The subjects themselves may not have the important documentation or paperwork as they've been in this country for most of over 50 years. So most of that documentation would not be accessible. It's the measures that we introduced recently to make sure that only those really need the right to, to live here can access things like the NHS and the... Conservative government are bad and they're not going to contact you directly. Fortunately, you have to take the initiative to ring government compensation helpline. The Conservative government are bad, but I would definitely not be voting for Conservative. And this has resulted in some people who, through no fault of their own, the overwhelming majority of the best generation do have the documents that they need. And we put in place a number of measures to make sure that to deal with that, which the Home Secretary, she's going to set up a new dedicated team. Two schemes have been set up to right the wrongs they experienced. The Winrish Scheme and the Winrish Compensation Scheme. Applications to both are free. The Winrish teams will treat everything you tell them with sensitivity and care. Nothing you tell us will be passed on to immigration enforcement. The Windrush scheme was set up to help people get the documents they need to demonstrate their right to live and work in the UK. If you have any questions about the Windrush scheme, you can call the helpline for free on 0800 678 1925. They can offer support, guidance and information on how to apply. The second scheme is called the Windrush Compensation Scheme. It is designed to compensate people who suffered or lost out on things because they couldn't demonstrate their right to live in the UK. If this describes your experience, you can claim for things like loss of earnings, loss of access to benefits, medical costs and the broader impact this has had on your life. Ultimately, we want to make sure you get the compensation you deserve for the difficulties you have faced. More information on both schemes, including eligibility, can be found on gov.uk forward slash Windrush or you can call the Windrush helpline for free. No, the Conservative government have badly let down the Windrush survivors by not comp compensating them. 
It's part of the Conservative government badly exercised their power on black immigrants. Institutionalised racism within the British government and the reason why this bad atrocity was allowed to take place. The Home Secretary couldn't act without the Prime Minister's approval of the decision. Theresa May is at blame and at fault, not to mention the acting Home Secretary at the time was just as bad. No, that bloody Rishi Sunak is just as bad. Had not been people from his own racial background, own Indian community. So he had a bad, blatant disregard and did not care. Had not been own people from his own racial background. They definitely would not be voted conservative. Let me vote. Labour get in power, vote Labour, hold up to the end of the, the deal. When it was the Labour leader that to compensate all who was victims of the legal right, legally they have the right to be compensated. They win the election and they don't hold up to the deal. Only will the Labour Party have badly let themselves down, who reflect back, people won't vote for them in the future. So I hope that if they do come in power, that they enforce the plan that they put forth in the manifesto and deliver it. The other political party manifesto will be shown at the end of this video. It's taken from Channel 5 News, but the Liberal Democrats haven't addressed the issue of the Windrush scandal are mentioned in the Liberal Democrats manifesto they put forth that the UK reform is no different than the BNP. ...expected that they're not going to be the next government. Um, so now it's just a case of damage limitation. Um, so I think that is part and parcel of their strategy, which is a renewed and relentless focus now on reform. Nigel Farage has faced repeated questions from a BBC audience about the racist language used by a canvasser for Reform UK about Rishi Sunak. Mr Farage refused to apologise, saying it was a set-up and a deliberate attempt to smear his party. Mr Sunak, who is of Indian origin, said the language made him hurt and angry and that Nigel Farage had questions to answer. The racist comments were secretly filmed and then broadcast by Channel 4 while activists were campaigning for Reform UK in Clacton. UK Reform, or the Reform UK Party, as it is known, no different than the English Defence League. It's a facelift for the BNP. Nigel Farage formed the UK Reform out of the Britex Party. Before that, he was the head of UCLIP, which is no different than the National Front. Same as the BNP came directly from National Front and in turn the BNP gave birth to the English Defence League. The two are the same and no different. So voting for the UK Reform Party is no different than voting for the BNP. This country has a bad habit of letting incite hatred towards certain racial or et racial groups. That is bad and should not be tolerated. There's no legal legislation in place in government to stop or prevent political parties such as UCLI, the BNP or the Reform UK Party from establishing themselves in politics. That is wrong. Any party which indicts, cites hatred should not be allowed to manifest, let alone preach propaganda, bad propaganda or hatred towards other racial groups. English Defence League rebranded and repackaged. They have a bad policy on race. A so-called Reform UK activist turns up in the Clacton office last Saturday, goes out with an undercover, apparently, Channel 4 news team, and makes a series of very, very racist derogatory remarks about Rishi Sunak, the Prime Minister, about people crossing the channel who he wants to shoot, about turning every mosque into a Weatherspoons. I mean, I watched this stuff. I thought, this is just so over the top. No one speaks like this. This is like an Alf Garnet comedy sketch going back 50 years. Uh, and yet, overnight, we found out that the guy is an actor. So we called him this morning. Even Nizer Farage formed and started the UK reform has not identified, identified with the Windrush scandal. So. Don't think they're going to be putting power seats in Parliament. If they had a foot in, Windrush families would definitely not be compensated. Both the Liberal Democrats, co for not to mention the Green Party, have not addressed the issue of the Windrush scandal, which means they were to win the election. That money allocated Home Office £65 million they would spend on their own political party. Black families would not be compensated. 
the only political party apart from Oliver that has addressed the issue is Labour and it was bad of the Conservative Party. Not only did they enforce a bad legislation and had bad racial inequality, the Windrush legislation, the Conservative Party enforced the Rwanda deal, which is a bad, bad degree of racism as it violates the human, violates human rights and that bill should not have been passed. The Conservative Party are bad on two separate agendas on the grounds of race, so I definitely will not be voting for Conservative. Labour pla plan to stop the boats and intercept them from France. Good policy because a lot of white immigrants come to the UK illegally, but it's on the grounds of race why they're not validated or detained by the Home Office. Not like the Windrush British subjects, which were legal British citizens and the rights had been badly violated on the grounds of race, and they were stripped off British citizenship. They should never have been treated like this, and the government knew full well what was going to happen because they were warned specifically of the dangers in that legislation of what it would do to people that have made their lives in this country. First generation deserve total justice. Looks bad on the Conservative Party is a, a case of bad racial inequality. UK reform have a bad policy on race, and both the Green Party and the Liberal Democrat want to open the doors to mass blood as a bad a strain on the British economy. Not to mention, it's the winnerous British subjects' taxpayers' money that finance that supports white immigrants and migrants in the UK. Labour promised to reverse the decision and Labour planned to compensate all victims of the bad Windrush scandal. I definitely will be voting for Labour, but I hope they do enforce what they set out in the manifesto. I hope they do deliver it. If they don't, and it's a broken promise, after that I definitely will not be voting for Labour, but I strongly encourage, if it's somebody from the black community, even if your family have not been affected by bad Windrush scandal, to vote Labour because they promise to legally compensate all Windrush victims. Today is Windrush Day, so it's a day about telling history contribution that's been made to this country of the change that we've made. But it also needs to be a reset day. We even tend to turbocharge the Windrush scheme because too many people haven't got the compensation that they're entitled to is really slow. We've got too many examples of people who died before they've got the compensation that they're entitled to. The Windrush unit needs to be re-established in the home office and we will set up a permanent commission to be a champion of and an advocate for the Windrush generation to make sure these injustices are put right and we will put in place a public celebratory push behind it. Send that to the listings that was born here. And so I tell them that I knew my national insurance number, I worked for the Inland Revenue. People were sent back to the West Indies. The pension was here and it was not receiving it, the life for their family. You know, the injustices have been back to where they came from, as it were, and especially after these people have spent so many years here working, looking forward to their own pension, to come and help another country. We've been celebrating the achievements of the Windrush, education, transport, and the massive contribution they made to our lives and our lives. Windrush Reach is an independent organisation that help black families with the hit by the Windrush scandal. They can act on your own behalf and give legal advice, help with your application in order for you to be compensated. To find the charity and organisation, just use Google and key in the words Windrush Reach in the Google search engine and it will redirect you to the charity. But it's not easy to obtain documentation if you've been in this country for nearly a century since the Windrush so have been in this country for like seven decades or it's not possible to obtain certain forms of documentation. The paperwork acts as evidence that will delay your application is unfortunately they're not going to be compensated haven't got the proper legal documentation because it's been either destroyed by the home office or destroyed by the government and you can't prove which is bad really son and daughter was born in the uk you have property in the uk you, you spend decades contributing to the british economy you came on a british passport that's wrong but that's how the government exercised their power it's no different than a nazi fascist regime
Exactly. The, most of the Greenwich families are not going to be compensated. As for legal advice, it's not easy. Legal aid is hard to obtain. And legal aid is an insult to an injury. But there is hope. There's a registered charity called Winrus Reach. They're not funded by the government. They can act on your behalf and give you legal advice, free legal advice. To find the charity, just use the Google search engine and key in the word Winrush Rich and it will bring up the website. If not, if you use the words Winrush Compensation and key it into Google, the search engine will bring up the charity. It will be listed directly underneath the official government website that compensates the Windrush victims. Definitely contact Windrush Reach if your application form has been delayed in the process as the government is not going to act on your behalf. It is the scandal which has shamed the government. The British people threatened with deportation because of bureaucratic incompetence. Sam Stewart was 10 when he moved from Jamaica to Manchester to join his mother. Oh my God. Hold on. There's no one else to turn to. I mean, I've got everything to ask for, and each time it's something new. They ask me for things, places that don't exist anymore. I mean, I mean, what do you do? In no, the, the Conservative the government are bad. In 2010, the Home Office destroyed the landing cards for a generation of Commonwealth citizens, and so have told people, we can't find you in our system. Did the Prime Minister, the then Home Secretary, sign off that decision? No, the decision to destroy the landing cards was taken in 2009 under a Labour government. Uh, Still, a number of the Windrush generation who have already been deported. And these landing cards were destroyed. Is it likely someone would have destroyed those without talking to a minister? Is it the kind of thing the guys on the ground would say, oh, that we can get rid of these and there would have been a bit of discussion? Or does that go into a red box? Likely that they would uh, destroy records stop, actually. There's quite a lot of care taken on these things, particularly if they're personal records. The truth is we don't know, Evan. We need to investigate this uh, in more detail to understand what happened. My boarding pass. On the Empire Windrush, there were boarding passes issued, stamped with a British seal, a British stamp. Well, I heard somewhere that they had been destroyed or boarding passes had been destroyed. That's legal documentation that acts as proof, evidence that they are British citizens. Bad dispute because Theresa May said that it was a Labour government that destroyed the boarding card. But it was her government, the Conservative government, which enforced it. I don't believe that is true. I think that's a bad blame, a lie. Done by the Conservative government to push it on the Labour Party. But I, I myself do not believe that. I think it's the Conservative government who destroyed the boarding passes and also exercised. No, they were the Conservative government that exercised it on black citizens. As the, the, the issue on the boarding passes, I think it was the Conservative government who destroyed it and wanted to play at this the blame on the opposition party. The government have two departments to deal with the Windrush scandal. The first department, the first department deals with claims, a different alternative number than the Windrush Compensation Scheme. Their number is 0808 196 84. That number is 0808 196 84. If you want to be compensated and you ring that number, they'll pass you on to the correct department. But the government have set up two different departments to deal with the Windrush families, the victims. Second department is the compensation scheme department. You can ring them directly on an alternative phone number of 0800 678 1925. And that is a free phone number. So I strongly urge you to call the department because the Conservative government is bad and they're not going to act on your behalf. They enforce the legislation. It's bad of the government not to contact the victims. It's down to the victim's family to take the initiative to call in, which is bad. Fault lies with the government. Still waiting for compensation by Glenda, whose mum, Paulette, passed away last year. Compensation like uh, a bandage. You need to take off the bandage and let the wound heal. It's four years since the government apologised for the Windrush scandal, which saw thousands of people wrongly told they no longer had the right to live here. Where do you come from? Jamaica. Today's report found the Home Office has learned some lessons, but still has work to do. It's for the department now to, to make sure that it pulls all that together.
but it brings all its staff with it, that it can demonstrate consistently to everyone that it has improved its culture, that it's better at listening to its communities. The Home Office shares it is transforming and becoming more compassionate for all of the families in one street. You've got to ask yourself, have we changed the law to give these people back their citizenship? I don't mean to change the law. It's a, a difficult process to solve these issues because the same laws and the same systems are in place. Five years, ten years, and it will still be the same if the laws haven't changed. With Rush runs deep, generations on, families still trying to make their voices heard. Peter Lane, Five News. Also, there's an official legal government website which you can apply directly online or compensation. Use Google to find the government website. Right? Just use the Google search engine and keen, Windrush, keen the words Windrush Compensation. Press the turn key and the computer would, would bring up the web link. In, in Google searches, there are several official organisations and like governing bodies that deal with Windrush. But the government's official legal website is one of the first ones listed. We know it's the official Windrush Compensation Department because got the royal quest on HM, His Majesty with uh, the King's crown on. If you click on the web link, we will look the website Windrush Compensation Scheme. And then at the top, the royal quest, the royal stamp for approval. So you know it's definitely the official legal site where you can apply online directly the compensation. If you want to use the internet domain, then it's www.windrush.campaign.gov.uk That is www.windrush.campaign.gov.uk If you use the internet domain and you key in wrong, the computer should recorrect it. If not, it may come up as, as a dead web link and you may not be connected to the website. So it's best to use a Google search engine. Just key in the word Windrush Compensation in the Google search engine. It will bring up the website automatically. All you have to do is click on the link. Anybody who has been badly affected by the Windrush scandal is entitled by law to be compensated. The government has set up an official website in which you can apply for compensation it, by HM government. It's an official legal website set up by the government. This is the home page. It will tell you directly if you're eligible for compensation. All Windrush families by law are legally entitled to, to money compensation. Evidence needs to be provided in order for the Home Office to process your application. To find the official government web website, apply online for compensation. Just use the Google search engine and key in Windrush Compensation and it will bring up the web link. Party manifestos are out, but what are they promising? From Labour, the Lib Dems, the Conservatives, the Greens and Reform. Starting off with Labour, they say they'll lower the voting age to 16. They promise not to raise taxes. They want to create a nationally owned clean energy company called Great British Energy and they want to nationalise the railways. The Liberal Democrats want to rejoin the single market and long term rejoin the EU. They promise to invest more than £9 billion into the NHS legalise cannabis for over 18s and change the voting system to proportional representation. The Conservatives promise a tax cut for workers by taking 2p off national insurance by 2027, introduce national service for 18 year olds, recruit 8,000 new police officers and create 1.6 million more homes. The Green Party want to scrap university tuition fees, nationalise the railways, the big five energy companies and water introduce a four-day working week and introduce new tax on the wealthy of 1% on assets over £10 million. Of our rivers and seas full of sewage. And it's increasingly clear the country is not going to put up with this. Anymore. Finally, reform wants to freeze non-essential migration, leave the European Convention on Human Rights, a referendum to change the voting system to proportional representation and an NHS voucher scheme so that patients can go private if they can't get an appointment within a specific time frame. But if you want to find out all the party pledges, they'll be on their own page.